Hong Kong. In June, 20-year-old Tara Wan and her boyfriend rented a shop in Causeway Bay, one of Hong Kong's top retail districts. The rent is just 6,000 Hong Kong dollars, 768 est, a month. Instead of selling merchandise, they set up arcade games known as claw machines. Wan's plan is to open more shops with these games, also called UFO catchers in Japan. These are glass boxes with dolls or other prizes that players try to grab with a flimsy claw. She sees this as a short-term venture to take advantage of the current low rents in Hong Kong. Wan and her partner are part of a growing number of young Hong Kongers using claw machines to seize the opportunity presented by the drop-in shop rents. Rents have fallen by up to 90% from their peak in 2015. This has opened doors for a new generation of entrepreneurs in a city where space was once too expensive for many to start a business. The rise of claw machines marks the end of an era when Hong Kong stores were crowded with mainland visitors spending billions. Some arcades now occupy spaces once rented by major jewelry brands and drugstores catering to Chinese tourists. The more claw machine stores there are, the more it reflects a worsening economy, said Stanley Poon, managing director of local agency Centerline Property. China's weakening economy and yuan have changed the behavior of Chinese big spenders in Hong Kong. Wealthy Chinese now exchange their money for the greenback-pegged local currency and invest in high-yield deposits or insurance products instead of designer goods. Meanwhile, Hong Kongers are heading to Shenzhen for cheaper weekend getaways and groceries. Jewelry, watches and luxury gift sales dropped 28.7% in April from a year earlier, marking a third consecutive monthly decline. Prominent jeweler Chow Tai Fook has reduced its Hong Kong stores from 87 in 2020 to 68 by March, while expanding on the mainland. The local retail industry is in deep water, said Annie Yao, CEO of Hong Kong jewelry group Tse Sui Luen, at a recent industry conference. The retail slump has affected the property market. With weak demand for space, rental yields have dropped, and there are few buyers for commercial property. In the first quarter, Commercial property transactions fell 24% from the previous quarter to 131. Total rental value for the same period declined 13% to HK89 million. Centerline predicted another 5% drop in the April-June term from the first quarter. Under these conditions, more people are looking to open claw machine shops in major shopping areas like Causeway Bay and Tsim Sha Tsui. Shop owners are willing to charge much less than before often on short-term leases, hoping to free up the shops when big brands return. Owners have accepted the reality that the price will not bounce back in the short term, said Kevin Lam, Executive Director of Retail Services at Cushman & Wakefield. But since most commercial space is fully paid for, unlike residential properties, many shop owners do not have the pressure of paying off loans. Some landlords who would have preferred to leave their shops empty have lowered their expectations and are renting to lower-end businesses for short periods, Lamb said. Landlords renting to claw machine shops are those who have relatively stronger holding power, said Terry Ho, Senior Regional Sales Director at Centerline, meaning owners who are not pressured to repay loans or sell to generate cash. On a prime street corner in Causeway Bay, a shop that Chow Tai Fook rented for HK1 million in 2011 is now occupied by a claw machine business renting for 140,000 Hong Kong dollars. Another new claw arcade, Money Claw, 80,000 Hong Kong dollars a month on Pak Lai Avenue in Sim Sha Tsui. That is 67% less than an electrical appliance store paid for the same spot in 2016. It is one of three claw machine centers on the same street. In Hong Kong's most expensive shopping areas, Central, Tsim Sha Tsui, Causeway Bay, and Mong Kok. There were 29 claw machine shops by the end of March, up from 15 in 2022 and 9 in 2021, according to property agency Midland. However, this data only covers ground-level facilities. Many more claw machine businesses, like ones, are on upper floors of commercial buildings and categorized as retail. Ground floor shops still have higher rents. A newly opened shop in June on Mong Kok's busiest street pays about 200,000 Hong Kong dollars a month, although it is much larger than one's sire month location. For claw machine operators, the low rents and limited operating costs, most shops run without any staff, mean easy money. I spend one hour per week setting up the machines and can leave it to do business, said Justin Choi, 25, who runs four claw machine shops in Hong Kong, the latest opened in Causeway Bay in December. I was in the pet business before, Choi said. It's harder to control stock quality. Animals get sick and die and your stock cost is high. 
but claw machines, if handled properly, don't break. For HK5 Eyes Per Try, players can attempt to grab Disney dolls and other prizes inside the machines. Some machine owners offer fancier rewards, like Nintendo Switches. Choi and two partners spent half a million Hong Kong dollars opening their Causeway Bay shop and expect to recoup their investment in 12 to 18 months. A 30% net return on total costs, including stock, labor, and rent, is considered good, Choi said. Some owners blur the line with gambling, allowing players to win money by using a claw to roll dice. This is a legal gray area as claw machines do not require a gambling license. Machine suppliers are clear winners, Andy Chan, owner of claw machine supplier Cool Bear Amusement in Guangzhou, said he is shipping 500 machines to Hong Kong per month, up from about 200 a month in 2022. This is the best time for this business, said Chan. Amid economic struggles, it is easier for people to invest in this business due to the relatively lower capital on equipment and rents, he said, adding that he believes there is still room for growth. But some expect Hong Kong's claw machine boom to be short-lived. They worry the influx of newcomers could lead to overcrowding. Choi is already looking to use his earnings from claw machines to start a business on the mainland or overseas. Opening unstaffed billiards halls is an option, he said. Hong Kong is facing too many internal and external challenges, Choi said. He predicts a downturn in catering and retail businesses that will drive shop rents even lower in the upcoming five years. It's a cycle, he said. Many things in Hong Kong are going backward. It's not hard to see there will be more downtrends.